exploration of the universe is always like a glimpse into the cosmic past. Just think of the highly acclaimed launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, which in the near future will give us an insight into how the cosmos looked 13.5 billion years ago. In the course of unmanned research missions, experts often search for millennia-old traces that show us how Mars and other galactic neighbors changed over time as well. This makes the recently published headline, which should make waves beyond the ranks of experts, all the more spectacular. For the first time, scientists have succeeded in observing a stellar explosion in real time. In today's video, you can find out exactly how this exciting observation took place and what surprising findings are associated with it. Are you excited about the distinctive discoveries and spectacles throughout the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the cosmos from now on. With a thumbs up, you motivate us and show that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. When Stars Die The object of scientific desire that astonished researchers had the simple name SN 2020 TLF. In detail, it was a red supergiant located about 120 million light years from our blue home planet. More than 100 days before the final stellar collapse, experts began to take a detailed look at the astronomical body. During this observation period, scientists recorded how the dying entity began emitting bright flashes of light as large accumulations of gas exploded on the star's surface. This, in simple terms, was a cosmic pyrotechnics that occurred just before the supernova, which still came as a big surprise to the researchers. In fact, the observed phenomena did not coincide with those processes that had been documented in the past during the study of other red supergiants. The main author of the study, which was published on January 6th in the Astrophysical Journal, expressed his enthusiastic astonishment in no uncertain terms. Wynne Jacobson Gallen, a researcher at the University of California, described the observed processes as a breakthrough in our understanding of the final stages in the life of massive stars. In fact, this was the first time in the entire history of research that experts had the privilege of seeing a representative of this powerful class of stars explode in real time. In detail, red supergiants are the largest stars in the universe in terms of volume. It is not uncommon for the corresponding celestial bodies to be a hundred times, or in some cases even a thousand times, the radius of the sun. Although red supergiants are without any doubt very impressive, they are neither the brightest nor the most massive stars in the cosmos. Just like the central host star of our local planetary system, red supergiants also produce energy by nuclear fusion of elements in their core. However, because they are significantly larger than our sun, these stars can also burn much heavier elements than helium and hydrogen. As a result, the cores of red supergiants become hotter and hotter, while at the same time the pressure steadily increases. If the stars eventually begin to fuse iron and nickel, they slowly but surely run out of their own energy supply. This development finally leads to the collapse of the cores of red supergiants, while they hurl their gaseous outer layers into the gigantic expanses of space in the course of a violent Type II supernova. An Unprecedented Observation even before the discovery, red supergiants had occupied the center of scientific interest. Scientists observed some representatives of this class of stars before they went supernova and studied the consequences of such stellar explosions. However, until recently, they had not been able to document the entire process in real time. The foundation for the unprecedented observation was laid in the summer of 2020. The experts turned their gaze to the red supergiant when it began to attract attention in the form of bright, flickering red flashes of radiation. In the aftermath, the recorded emissions were interpreted as exploding gas at the star's surface. To study the celestial body, which is on its last legs, in detail, the scientists relied on the use of two special telescopes in Hawaii, the Pan Stars 1 telescope and the WM Keck Observatory on the summit of the 4,200-meter high volcano Mauna Kea. In total, the exploration of the star spanned a period of 130 days before the much-anticipated supernova finally occurred occurred. During their work, researchers recorded evidence of a dense gas cloud that surrounded the red supergiant at the time of its explosion. In all likelihood, 
This was the same gas that the dying star had ejected a few weeks earlier. This circumstance suggests that the red supergiant had already undergone violent explosions long before its final collapse. Ultimately, the observations suggest that red supergiants undergo dramatic changes in their internal structures that set in motion a phase of chaotic gas explosions several months before the supernova. When and how will the sun die? While the red supergiant SN 2020 TLF has already passed the last phase of its evolution, we want to conclude today's video with a no less exciting event, which none of us will live to see, the end of our sun. So what do the experts have to say regarding this topic? The final death of our central host star will not occur for trillions of years. The present phase of the sun, the so-called main sequence on the other hand, will find its end in about 5 billion years. In detail, this means the phase within the development in which the nuclear fusion of hydrogen enables the sun to radiate energy and to generate sufficient pressure to prevent the celestial body from collapsing under the sheer weight of its own mass. It's known that the age of the sun is a little less than 5 billion years. Based on a predicted life expectancy of about 10 billion years, this is therefore a middle-aged star. Once the sun has burned up most of its natural hydrogen supply in its core, it will enter its next phase of evolution and become a red giant. Those aging stars of the magnitude of our sun are subject to the dominant influence of gravity after the hydrogen burning has ceased. Eventually Eventually, the celestial bodies contract until pressure, temperature, and density are sufficient to fuse helium to carbon at the center. Henceforth, the fusion of hydrogen to helium no longer takes place in the glowing hot core, but in the so-called shell burning. As a result of this process, the sun will expand to a hundred times its initial size before an equilibrium between inward gravitational pressure and outward radiative pressure is finally established. In the same breath, the core of the sun will contract more and more and become visibly unstable. The expansion of the celestial body will at the same time have dramatic consequences for the different members of the planetary system. The inflated sun will first swallow its direct neighbors, Mercury and Venus. Thereupon, the solar winds will intensify to such an extent that the magnetic field of our blue home planet will be obliterated and its atmosphere practically stripped away. The last phase of the sun Needless to say, this will be a devastating catastrophe for life still on our planet at this time. If it has managed to defy the 10% increase in solar brightness, which according to one study, will cause Earth's oceans to evaporate in about 1 to 1.5 billion years. A few million years after the initial expansion phase, the Sun will probably have swallowed up the last remnants of the Earth. The end of our terrestrial home will occur just before a phase in which the bloated sun begins to fuse the remaining helium into carbon and oxygen before its core finally collapses completely. The former host star of our planetary system will then become a beautiful structure of glowing hot plasma, a so-called planetary nebula. The interior of this nebula will in turn be adorned by a white dwarf, an incredibly dense, significantly hotter, roughly Earth-sized stellar relic. The planetary nebula will exist for just 10,000 years, no more than a fleeting blink of an eye in the overall cosmic context. After that, what will be left of the sun will cool down over a period of trillions of years before it ultimately transforms into an object from which no more radiation will emanate. But how is it actually possible for the experts to forecast this event in such detail, although it will only take place in the distant future? In order to draw up the corresponding time schedules for the sun and other stars of comparable size, scientists need to know how the celestial bodies emit their energy. Once researchers understood the mechanism of nuclear fusion, they were also able to develop complete models for the evolutionary phases of stars based on emission data from various stars. Meanwhile, the estimated age of the Sun is also confirmed by the radioactive dating of the oldest known meteorites, which formed from the very solar nebula from which our host star and the planets of the solar system emerged. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the exciting discovery of the experts and the associated findings. Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting articles on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.